Aloha everybody, it's Dave, coming to you from the beautiful island of Maui. Today we're going to be installing a propeller guard on the old island gypsy at the storage yard where she sits when we're not on the water. I wanted to get one to protect people, and mostly marine life, from the blades of the propeller. So this should be fun. I consider myself to be very lucky in that I get to free dive and scuba dive year round. My wife and I get to swim with sharks, turtles, humpback whales, you name it. It was during a recent encounter with a whale shark that I noticed propeller cuts on its back. I knew then that I wanted to get a guard. All right, well, let's get started. Hey, first thing is I hope all of you have a better place to work on your boats, like a driveway or a garage than I do, than this dirt parking lot that has no water, no electricity, and no power. But on Hawaii, I'm thankful that I have any place to park the boat at all. So let's go ahead and get started. As I mentioned, today we're gonna be installing a prop guard to try to protect uh, swimmers and any marine life from getting hit by my propeller. As you can see from the back of the boat, when I installed the outboard engine with the bracket, it pushed the engine further back on the boat than it normally would be. It normally would have been right underneath uh, the swim step. So it makes this propeller and fin stick out a little bit further uh, than I would like. And swimmers, people that are getting in and out of the back of the boat, you know, they're at risk of getting hit. Okay, time for the so here it is, the Adventure Marine 17 inch prop guard. Before I unbox it, just a reminder, I'm not sponsored. I'm not monetized on YouTube and I don't get paid in any way to endorse any products. I paid about $425 for this with shipping to Hawaii. And I'm gonna let you guys know what I think of it. Okay, here's everything you get in the kit. Looks like the guard, uh, some good stainless steel hardware, and uh, some brackets for the bottom of the fin. Now, at first glance, it looks like I'm gonna have to remove this dull fin, which I installed on the, on the outboard to try to help the boat get up on plane, uh, which it works great. Uh, it does help, but as we've talked about in other videos, this boat really doesn't get up on plane all too that often. So it's not really a big concern. Uh, but it does help small engines uh, get up on plane easier and it looks like it's going to be in the way so it's probably going to have to go. Pretty straightforward instructions. I recommend that you test fit all the hardware Make sure everything's to your liking. Uh, looks like good quality stainless steel hardware. Everything's precision drilled. Uh, it looks like it's really, really well made. And when you're putting it together, at least this bottom brace part that goes uh, on the bottom of the fin of the outboard, just make sure you put everything together. You know, it goes without saying, loose. Don't tighten anything up yet until you get ready for the final fitting. Looks like Adventure Marine did a really good job putting this thing together. Uh, Adventure Marine even suggests this in their instructions that you use a C-clamp to clamp this thing in place and make sure you've got the alignment that you want. Uh, I used two C-clamps and I might even end up using maybe a third one to get it right where you want it. Make sure it's exactly centered and where you want it before you tighten anything up and before you start drilling any holes because um, you don't want to put a bunch of holes in your in your outboard uh, cavitation plate or any extra holes in your bottom fin, which is where the support bracket is. So you don't want to have any unneeded holes. So always double check, even triple check. I know this seems repetitious and stupid, but again, don't tighten anything up. Just locate your bolts, get everything to where you like it. Make sure the, the propeller spins in the center of the prop guard and it's where you want it before you tighten anything up. 
that's important because the reason I don't want you to tighten anything up is we're going to actually back this thing off after we've got everything drilled before we do the final assembly because uh, I want to do a little something to try to help slow down corrosion. Now that I've got everything pretty much where I want it, I'm going to go ahead and make my life considerably easier and remove the prop. So it literally takes, you know, two minutes to take your prop off. Uh, it's a good opportunity anyway for you guys to check out, you know, if there's any water, or any gunk or fishing line or anything around your prop. Uh, and you can grease it and reinstall it uh, after you're finished. It only takes a minute. And the handy dandy prop wrench, that's Amazon. I don't know, it's like 10 bucks. So it makes life super easy. And this gets it out of the way so that you can work, you know, on the prop guard and have some more room for your hands. As you can see, I double C clamped it to get it right where I want it. Now, as you can see from those two bolts, I was actually able to pick up two of the holes that I drilled previously for that dolphin. So I didn't have to drill those two, but I'm going to have to drill these two here. And any decent craftsman would tell you to mark those holes and then remove the bracket and then drill where your marks are. But of course, I'm a hack and I'm just going to use the bracket as my drill guide. So here's where you separate the men from the boys and you start blasting holes in your expensive outboard motor. So after drilling and test fitting the bolts, the stainless steel hardware they gave me is way too long. So I'm not sure. I mean, it's probably good for different applications on outboards. You could probably use it, but I don't, I think it looks ugly. So I went ahead and switched back to the stainless steel screws that I had in the Dolphin, but you can go down to like an Ace Hardware and get stainless steel stuff really cheap, just for a couple of bucks. And I would recommend doing that if it ends out that your bolts are too long, like these were the supplied ones uh, from Adventure Marine. But no big deal. It's just a couple of bucks at Ace Hardware. You can get uh, the proper length stuff because I think it looks doesn't look good. Okay, now that I've got all my holes drilled and it really won't be that much in the way anymore, I'll go ahead and reinstall the prop. As you can see, I cleaned off the shaft. I inspected the wear seal real quick, made sure there was nothing going on that I was upset about put on a fresh coating of uh, waterproof marine grease and she's ready to go back on and torque down the nut. So like anything that's made of metal, sometimes there's preload to it. So as you can see, I went ahead and C-clamped down here this lower bracket where I wanted it. What I had to do is just slightly flex this outer housing right here forward so that the propeller spins kind of sort of in the center of the prop guard, kind of protecting it all the way around. Uh, this is the area that you know I'm the most worried about. It, it's striking someone is right here on this on this uh, leading edge. So you want to make sure that you have some C clamps so you can get it right where you want it and clamp it because there is a little bit of flex to it before you drill any holes. Remember, just take your time, make sure it's exactly where you want it before you take a drill to it. Okay, I've taken it back off and I've deburred all of my holes and let's take a second to talk about corrosion. Gotta love Hawaii, huh? Everything rusts here. Stainless steel, galvanized steel, heck, even plastic rusts. To try to help prevent what's called dissimilar metal corrosion, and I'm not gonna go deep into the weeds on this one, but let's just say I coated the hardware and contact services with waterproof grease. It won't prevent it, but it might slow it down. There are some primers that will help, but I chose to just grease it and keep an eye on it. Okay, everybody's thoroughly greased up, including myself. Everything lines up well. There's no interference with the propeller. It's pretty much right in the middle where I want it to be, so it protects swimmers and fish, and we're ready to give it a final tighten. Okay, so here we go, finished product. All installed, everything tightened, uh, spins good, no interference. And uh, I'm gonna give Adventure Marine a five out of five on this. The fasteners were a little bit long, but that's no big deal. I think they did that so it'll fit on a variety of different outboard engines. But overall, the quality construction is really, really high. And the rumor is that this burns about five miles an hour out of your top end speed. Like it's really gonna matter on this tank. Um, I don't really go that much on top end anyway, but it looks like it's gonna be a good protector and uh, I'll let you know. So I will give this an A plus from Adventure Marine in Canada. No issues whatsoever, no vibration. That's a top quality part. 
and I don't feel any noticeable drag with it. So now the swimmers and the fishies are safe. Thanks for watching.